Triple Star Racing on the PlayStation. Another one of these uh, rather nice racing games. There are actually two versions, All Star Racing 1 and 2. They're not much different uh, from what I remember, but uh, they're actually pretty okay. So let's um, check whether or not I can uh, So you get a selection of uh, Supercar Challenge, Classic Cars, Stock Car Frenzy and GT Racer. Let's select GT Racer. Options, uh, sound, music, volume is going to go down for sure. Uh, difficulty, yep. Change. Start. So I'm gonna go for this nice looking Colmid car. And a Hampton Race Circuit. Boulder Raceway. Let's go for the Hampton Race Circuit. Just to give you an example of how this game plays, and you can actually you know check out for yourself if you if you like it, if you want to give it a try. So this is a... This is a this also uses the analog controls. It's actually another one of these races that is quite a decent racer. I haven't played it in quite some time, so I tend to steer in the corners a bit too late and stuff. But yeah, the car looks nice. It, the suspension of the car is a bit wobbly. So I guess the Codemaster games are actually uh, a bit better, but it controls good enough. So there's no way on earth that I'm actually going to be able to catch up, especially if I keep getting my wheels stuck in the sand. On first glances, uh, this does look a bit like Le Mans 24 hours on the uh, on the PlayStation, but that's actually the better game. But colorful graphics, um, you know, the scenery up, uh, alongside the track actually is varied enough so that it actually is a place and not some weird abstract but yeah there's no competition from me at all <laughs> As you can see, most of the racing games, they do perform a similar trick on the PlayStation, you know, with the, uh, the rendered backdrop. And the trees more or less being uh, a sprite stuck together at a 90 degree angle. I find the shade underneath the car actually quite interesting. 
it's uh, will there be a replay or something don't think so oh and I have my window open and I'm living in the country so you hear a ton of birds tweeting um, let's quit and check out one of the other options supercar challenge options so that's the same start uh, I'll, I'll select just the first car Garrett Hills, Forest Valley Garrett Hills, why not what I like about this game is that it actually offers you a, a varied uh, set of racing types actually probably more or less different racing cars but they look like different games you know with the different fonts and stuff so and for some reason here you have an in-car view instead of an exterior car view the default so that's it's actually interesting controls are rather floaty now I must say that the in-car view or just you know the the bumper view or the hood view actually is makes it a fair bit easier to control the engine sound is rather uniform and a bit grating And uh, this is by no means a simulation, this is a very much an arcade racer. And without the music it may actually uh, be a, a bit dull, but... I like the use of colors. And there are shadows underneath the cars and stuff. So yeah, it's actually a well executed game graphically. The AI of the cars is, is firstly non-existent. They just drift around. They don't try to block you or anything. Um, and Yeah, it's 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 just a, you know it's it's a nice enough racer. I mean, A2 racer or you know there's there's a, quite a few other racing games that are actually far worse. I'll check out one of the other uh, racing options momentarily after I lost this race. <laughs> Again, here the uh, the scenery is, is varied enough, you know, and the tunnels and stuff to actually make it a place. So, finished first, fourth, <laughs> third, fourth. Well, better than the other race, I didn't stand a chance there. So, spring is in full swing. It's actually quite warm already. So, let's go back to the main menu and select one of the other options so classic cars let's see what that is about oh yeah minis and stuff a belling v2 okay let's do the belling v2 Mountain chase, hillside. So let's do the mountain chase. So basically, you know, it's it's, it's just a race, three laps, presented as uh, different games, but basically it's just the same race made to look like three different or four different games. Even I think I actually have the second game also, so we might actually give that a go 
in this very video as well. So this portrays, this gives you an exterior car view. The car is less bouncy, less floaty. But that's because there's hardly any <laughs> anything to bounce with. It handles actually quite a fair bit better than the other cars. Probably because it's just... Uh, has a lower center of gravity or something like that. Physics... I'm not sure. They're not... They're not the greatest, but I mean to go for a quick spin. If this is the only game that you yeah, that you have it to, uh, at your disposal, I'd, I'd be happy. I mean, it's no Gran Turismo, it's no Ridge Racer, it's no uh, GT24, but. Features analog controls, force feedback, you know, it's, it's, it's doing a lot of stuff right. But yeah, basically it's just the same game, different tracks, with a different screen font. And I slowly lose all the advantage I build up. I have built up. And now I'm coming. Oh, I managed to get on the side of the road. So, final lap. Will I be able... No. So there must be some serious rubber banding going on because... I don't see why this car would, would suddenly be able to catch up. I mean, I... Yeah, that, that shouldn't happen, of course. Now I'm probably going to be overtaken at high speed by one of the cars. So I guess I was second now, yes. So there's one type of race left, so let's go check that out in a bit. All-star racing. Yeah, there's no <laughs> there's no stars, you know, there's no uh, uh, there's no actual um, drivers um, professional drivers that and there's not even licensed cars even because the mini wasn't a mini it was a different car so it looks like a mini but mini cooper but start champ team stock car file team stock car yeah it's just so i guess this should be somewhat like uh Daytona or something like that. <laughs> but probably it's going to be the same race, just with a different car. And of course a different track to choose from. And it's like three laps. This also starts with an in-car view. This, this game doesn't feature a map with the uh, with an overview of where the opponents are or where you actually are 
open the course, which vents to expect. But yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of similar elements in the various different <laughs> on the various different tracks. Uh, so it's it's yeah, it's all a bit. These four games are are a bit generic. This this looks like the uh, fourth option I chose. Like, you know, the first game I played. Yeah, you don't really get a sense of control of the car, so I may have to dial down my enthusiasm. I mean, it's good enough to get you, give you a sense of speed and, you know, wind down after a long day at work, you know, just give you that sense of speed, but it's... It's all very springy and twitchy and... But hey, you, you won't be able to... Uh, I won't be able to create something like this on the PlayStation, so... It's easy to be... Uh, There's a bit of a learning curve, although this car, like the Mini Cooper, is quite a fair bit easier to control. The same, no, the Tona. Again, probably the lack of music, maybe licensed music, is a bit boring, but. Oh, I finished first, wow. <laughs> That's a first. Now, the sound of the, of the engine is actually quite grating. So, quick game. Let's see if I can find that second game. It should be, uh, should be around somewhere, because yeah, this is just what it is. So let's see the second All-Star All Racing 2. Will it be much different or will it just be very similar? Let's go check it out. So, booting up the PlayStation All-Star Racing 2. Second game. Let's see how different it is. So, uh, another mud duck. Me just games. And Kung Fu. Quite like these logos. That was something to get used to because you, you wouldn't necessarily get these as much as uh, with the cartridge based games. Well, you, you did, but these uh, can, can often be quite elaborate. So, a different loading bar, nice, and racing screen, and a bit of shade, shadow. So, oh wow, this is interesting. Now we do need to uh, lapse music volume, let's, let's turn the music volume down, sadly. Okay, difficulty is just start. Bikes, so this is actually quite different vehicles, but probably the same race, <laughs> just like the other game.
So we got bikes. Now bike racing is very tough to get right because you need, uh, yeah, you need a proper control. It, it, you, uh, if if the bike just flops about, you get very little sense of control. So, hmm, quite like the way the bikes are drawn. Uh, for a moment, I thought that the. Uh, the gas tank is actually uh, trans translucent, but yeah, let's let's. So the record is one minute fourteen seconds. I'll probably not be able to break that, or perhaps I will. It's it's been a long time since I played this game, so uh, should this actually be among my top? Well, uh, probably not, but yeah, there's. <laughs> They're like right outside the window, on the uh, underneath the uh, roof tiles in the gutter. So, well, this looks very similar to the other game. Similar font. Now, yeah, this is this is one of these flop about motor racing games. It does feel more like a, a, a motor racing game. You, you get to hang in the corners a bit more. I can't say that it's very realistic. <laughs> I mean your opponents, you, they, they are actually leaning to the side even on a strange edge I mean normally a person would fall over like that so it looks funny yeah and again the, the, the engine sound of these bikes is just I'm not sure what, what type of sound this actually is but like one of these electric motors or benzene powered little I'm not sure but it don't <laughs> it doesn't sound like a, a motorbike I mean you do get a feel for the, for for how to go into the bends and stuff. But basically, this is just the same game. The same game as the other game. It should have been on the same disc. You know, have uh, instead of four different races, and now you have a, a second game with, with uh, the names focusing on the, uh, the vehicle, which actually the other, the other game Actually, also did because yeah, the road is just very similar tracks, and now, so lap two, lap last lap, and I did manage to to get first but <laughs> will my nerves be able to withstand yielding my top position I do like it I mean graphically it, it looks very nice but I guess they should have tweaked the uh, physics a bit more And uh, yeah, I guess I guess the AI and your opponents are just too easy because I mean me being able to finish first, I'm not that good, you know. I must look up how this was received back in the day. I I did. 
I'm, I'm a sucker for racing games, so I got this. Didn't play it a lot, but... Uh, so, Mark, Rob, Steve, Dave, Darren and Lance. Well, apart from the sixth, every one of these names is actually <laughs> a YouTuber. Uh, probably no replay, just, you know, loading, loading back up the menu. Um, perhaps a score system. Yeah, so you actually go back to uh, selecting different tracks. You don't get the quick game. And so it, it feels like a single game now instead of, you know, quick game, a level or a track or a, a, a Oh wow, that, that is really weird. Carts. Whoops. Now it's, it's actually a very weird hierarchical system, you know, like you move back and forth um, with some of the variables being kept in memory, but there's no, it's like loose parts that have been glued together with some menu systems of the, the, the same, the same uh, raceway, Abbey Park. Let's, let's check out Abbey Park. This, this looks rather nice. I mean, you see the metal bits um, with a building glow texture thing. So, yeah, these old systems, they really had to use uh, a bit of trickery to, to make it look right. And you actually have uh, a few of the racers that uh, don't use that as much and they look rather bland. I mean, Rage Racer, for example, is a great game, but it looks rather bland because it doesn't use um, multiple texture layers and it doesn't do shading that much, you know. So it's 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 a bit bland looking. And of course, this generation being yeah the first real polygon uh, generation, you know, the 3DO, Saturn, PlayStation. Yeah, it's, it really was a limited. Experience. So this is like an indoor thing. Yeah, I think I think this game actually is is a bit better than the first game because it really feels like you're driving a cart. You know the the way you turn. Although the car does feel quite sluggish, I mean, cars are carts are very lightweight little machines that actually do accelerate very quickly and decelerate very quickly, and this is just a very sluggish uh, cart. So that's, I mean, it does feel like a car, but it's 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 slow and sluggish. Than it could be, uh, but I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure how much this actually this code actually taxes the uh, the PlayStation. It could be that uh, this was all they were able to get out of it. They do have an entire indoor track laid out with uh, the, the bigger. Well, with the uh, with the track being rendered as polygons, and actually the uh, the hole, the, 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 the what is it, the hangar where where this is all taking place is just a backdrop that uh, smartly smartly uh, wraps around. With nice use of colors, and I like the uh, I like the bright colors. I like the little. So I got second. Yeah, I, I like the way it looks. It's uh, it's colorful enough, and perhaps with the music, it, it might actually be a lot more fun. I th I, th I I prefer this over the first game because it's more varied. You know, the the, the vehicles actually feel quite different. 
Whereas in the first game, the, f the, the, the vehicles look different. The only real different vehicle was, uh, uh, was the, uh, the mini-like little car. And the rest was all very similar in, in, in feel of control. And what I also found very interesting is that in two of the options, two, two vehicle options, you actually had in-car or in-vehicle. Uh, so GP, that must be very similar to what we've seen in the first game. So this should be an exterior view. The other was also exterior, so perhaps all these were exterior. I didn't see an option to actually change the view, so it may be baked in the engine. Inner Seca. Why not? Inner Seca. Oh, so this is like Formula One. Like type. So yeah, let's let let's let it load in and just see. The, the the drive of the PlayStation actually is a single speed drive, so and that's 150 kilobytes per second. So we got an in-car view with very twitchy. So the engine sound is rather weird, but the high-pitched whine of uh, Formula One cars, but well, Formula One cars are just glued to the road. You know, they wouldn't they wouldn't have a, a suspension like what is visible here. I mean, perhaps they uh, they simulate head bob. <laughs> But no, you would just find the uh, the scenery just to uh, to rotate, and not as much wobble like this. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't actually feel that much different from the cards game. Although it does control a, a bit more immediate, it's less sluggish. It's faster than the cards game and it's also faster than the uh, motor game. You actually hear the uh, little... You actually hear the little uh, wave file or whatever sound recording clip a bit. You have your loop. What I do like about the scenery, which is actually a bit more generic in this track, it seems, is that they have different layers. You know, you have uh, you have trees in front of each other, and the trees that are closest to the player they move a bit faster than the trees that are further away. So yeah, it's it's actually quite quite decent. But yeah, this is not this is this this is not this is not a fun experience. This I mean, it looks it looks a hell of a lot nicer than it actually plays. But uh, yeah, I think I think it's best to avoid these. And and, and yet there were teams, you know, two teams uh, or one team that actually put their heart and soul into this it looks a lot nicer than it plays and I think this could have been more but perhaps the teams were just rushed you know management just wanting to have the game out where it still actually needed to be more <coughs> tweak more so I'm, I'm, I'm just I mean there must be six players and I'm six <laughs> Um. 
So yeah. I don't want to be, uh, you know, a judgmental bastard just slacking. Just uh, saying bad stuff about the game. There, there's, there's a lot of good in it as well. I mean, the, 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 the controls are, are, are quite decent, but it's just the way the vehicles respond that is just too alien for me. So, sixth. And then there's just no replay, you know, you just get and there's there's actually there's no scores either, is there? I forgot. There's no podium, there's no reels. Or perhaps there is scores, there should be. Yeah, there there are. There, there were when you were fourth and stuff. But it's it, it's something is missing, you know. You want to have a, you want to have a championship or this is just you know just a single you, ch you pick a vehicle and you just race three laps and that's it so it's a bit uh, barren but then again the original rich racer for the playstation with <laughs> the few tracks it has is actually quite barren as well so it all it all depends on and trucks that's the the last one it's really weird that you have to put in your name again you know I guess this this if, if you play this and you have a couple of people sitting around you just pass pass the controller around and you just type in your different names and save the high scores if you know River Mead why not oh wow so this looks like a, a Duff truck So I predict this will be somewhat in between the GP car and the, the cart when it comes to controls. And if it's faster than the GP carts, I'd be I'd be surprised, but it may actually feel faster. I'm not sure. It should feel heavy. You know, a truck should feel heavy. It should turn slowly. It should respond slowly. You know, and the suspension should be really slow. And let's see how twitchy and wobbly this actually is. Now, this, this, a truck will not be able to do this. No, sir. This is just, no. I'm just slaloming through cones and stuff, but this is just, yeah, it's an arcade game, so I pro pro probably should be less harsh on it. Actually, I'm not sure I should look at the box, which, uh, which year this is from. You know, to put it in perspective, what other games were out. I mean, if this was one of the earlier games, which I doubt it actually is, if you look at the uh, shading, textures used it's uh, it's quite elaborate I you know this is so much better looking than it actually plays that it's just it's a crying shame very curious what the story is behind it if any of the del developers you know are still active in the, in the in the gaming scene or if they see this video because I think this really is a very good looking game and you know, and, and it's and it's it's getting a lot of things right, but it's it feels half finished. And to have actually two of these games, very similar games, to be put out on the market as two games, perhaps sort of uh, sort of uh, yeah, they were just. It should, it should have been one game and it should have been more polished. Instead we got two games that feel like beta versions of the games. Am I, am I being too harsh? Am I being 
snobbist? No, I, I don't think so. I think uh, I think these are not very finished, and I I I would think that the developers were forced or uh, rushed or they had to abandon the project because the, the, the marketing guys wanted to uh, just publish it. And they just see how it moves and they see how it looks. And then they think, oh wow, that's great, you know. Perhaps even without, I mean, I, I can imagine the marketing people just, you know, look at, give it one casual look and, they'll, and then they'll, they'll just um, say, oh, I, I thought that was finished, but it's like, they give it one casual look and they, they think it's finished and they think it looks excellent, which it does actually. And they and they and they just go well. Let's let's uh, yeah. Let's stop stop tweaking. It's good enough, and and, and it gets uh, marketed. But an under underlaying uh, tournament type thing would have been great, you know, with all these vehicles. Just just have a whole uh, tournament thing and and have a proper replay and just tie it all together quite nicely like many of the other racing games but this just feels like bits of game bits of uh, uh, this actually controls rather now i mean it doesn't behave like a truck <laughs> but it, it really controls quite nice this car get finished first. Harvey, Jock, Krish, Paul and Warren. It's a sausage fest, that's for sure. So yeah, and, and the loading. <laughs> this this is one game that has just they they keep the, uh, the, the the variables of the player just enough in memory to be able to have some sort of um, continuous vibe thing going on but it's just different executables loading all the time it seems like just bits of game there's just no nothing that ties it together really that much yeah options medium labs more volume, center of screen vibration. Yeah, it's a shame. All Star Racing 2. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with another video soon.